Hi everyone. In this particular video, I'm going to walk you through error monitoring capabilities in Sprung Chrome. Let's say I'm a site reliability engineer or a front-end engineer who wants to monitor the web app to see if the errors are increasing or decreasing or just identify top impacting errors in the application. Up until now, I was able to look at key metrics that identify top JavaScript errors by pages or look at network errors by endpoints or backend calls. But what if, if I just want to find top JavaScript errors across my application, irrespective of what page they occur on? JavaScript errors panel over here gives me access to that. It groups all the errors together by stack trace and displays what are the top errors that are occurring in my application and gives me a view right in the overview page without even going to tag spotlight. Within a matter of minute, I was able to know that this particular error is happening most frequently on my app and I have access to its stack trace as well. I'm able to see how it performed in the matter of past two days that I've selected over here and how, how it has been trending in past. In addition to that, I can actually click around in this list over here to see how the other errors are doing and what are the stack traces associated with them if I li would like to compare different errors that are displayed over here. Let's say I want to investigate this particular error because it has been occurring for so long and send it to the right front end team to get it fixed. I can actually click to tag spotlight over here to actually look at this error in more details. So as you can see, the error that is selected over here is the one that we looked at in the previous page. I can now see that this particular error is actually happening across multiple pages over here. There's a broad spectrum of pages which has this error. So fixing this one error would actually eliminate the, uh, the error across so many pages. I can also readily see that it's happening most frequently in Safari than other, other browsers. This could be also skewed towards just from where the traffic is coming from but the tag spotlight over here allows you to see what are the browser versions that are experiencing this error the most and what are the cities and regions from which these uh, clients are coming in let's say if you want to just focus on chrome for now so i'll just select chrome and now i'm able to see what is the trend looking like maybe i want to just focus on the spike over here to see um, to filter my data even more now I can see that, you know, my data is now filtered down to these particular cities. Now let's go to example sessions and actually see how, where exactly this error occurs in a particular user journey. So let's pick the session over here and see what happens. I'm brought to the session details page over here, which shows me the journey of this user, where it went from the product page to the cart page then it went back to the home page and went to see another product and in the cart is where it actually had encountered this particular error. So now through session details page, not only am I able to identify where exactly this error occurred, but where exactly in the <coughs> user journey this error occurred and all the associated information along with it. So I can right away see that this is the error ID. Um, this is the error ID, a span ID for the error, the error itself, and then that it occurs on the cart page. I can now send this information to the front end team so that they're able to replay or reproduce this error on the cart page. In addition with all the details, for example, like the stack trace um, and other envi environment information.